Good morning, everyone. It is five past eleven. Once again, I haven't picked up the camera yet. Yet, but I have now. Uh, bought up all my work in that nice big bag there. I've got two boxes of stuff to enter and the charges to put through. I think I'm going to start with the charges just to make sure that the program's working again because I don't want to go through it if it isn't. Um, it is five past. 11 so i should be chatting to mum soon um we're not going to be able to chat tomorrow because i think mum has appointments but um ash is at work she gets off at six don't know if she's going to go to queen she didn't end up going last night um she's booked in her car her car needs new tires when her dad saw the car her tires on sunday he said that she needed to purchase two new ones so she's made an appointment for tuesday to have it go in so she can get her new tires um, they're not very cheap for the car like Ashley's, <laughs> but um, with winter coming and the amount of driving Ashley does back and forwards to Queens, we need her to be safe. Um, look at the new, this is the new one for the winter. How cute is that with the stars on it? It goes with the whole theme of the starry night. Um, I want to take a bath in it because my skin is dry you know when you transform from summer to fall even though it's only a slight transfer at the moment it's still not freezing or anything but the only trouble is number one it makes the bath really really slippy and number two <laughs> this is going to sound really sad i'm really feeling my age at the moment and my back is aging me even more so let's add on another 10 years i can't i have trouble getting out on a good day with my stupid back so it's getting to the point where i'm gonna have to put handles in there i think it, uh, it's awful, um, and I'm too proud to ever, ever ask anybody to help. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah. What else was I going to say? Let's get off of that because that's just ugh, too many <laughs> images. I just put a bag on Poshmark, one that I bought from a consignment store many, many years ago from a Canadian consignment store and they would not send me the authenticity papers they said i'd have to pay for them i'm like but you had it authenticated if that's the right word already and they said yes and i have to pay you to get the papers as well oh the dealings i had with them were not good they bought a bag from me to sell and it was just everything was just a hassle with it so i thought Ugh. so i just put the bag up today and i just threw a price up because I can't prove anything on it. I mean, I've gone through all videos on how to tell what a real Prada looks like to a fake Prada. And I know this one is real, but I can't prove it. If anybody asks me to, they'll have to take it themselves. And um, I put a price on and I, oh, I should have gone higher because within two, I only went to the loo and it sold already. And I had three other people making bids on it. So... The bids was, I wouldn't have accepted anyway, but I was looking through other ones, other Pradas that are like three times what I put it up for. But, you know, I wanted it to sell. I had my stuff in it. I put my stuff in it last night. I thought, let me use it for a little bit and see how I get on with it. But the minute I take one thing out, everything falls in because the sides, they're not flat and they're clenched at the top. So it, it's just taken out my wallet this morning i'm like oh yeah that's why it annoys me i'm very particular with my bags ashley goes mum you should just make your own bag because i always say oh i love this bag if only it had this i love bags if you can't tell i love this bag but if only it was a smidge bigger or a smidge wider i won't go for anything less than five inches deep uh deep yeah I like them to be at least 13 to 15 inches wide. I like the square look. I love the Gucci, which I can't afford. And there's a Prada I can't afford. But, <laughs> oh, she goes, just make your own. I wish I could. Could I? She goes, because then it would have everything you want. So I'm like, it just needs this in here and it just needs that. And it has to have feet. I love feet on my bag. I don't put my bags on the floor, but if there's that one little thing with this one, I used to have to because um, I can't put them on my shoulder because of the silly things up in here, the, the, the bulging discs. Oh, my God, you look so cute. Oh, it's on me. You look so cute, you Luna. Um, but anyway, uh, I should design my own bag and take it to Michael Kors and say, listen, buddy, how about you do this one? He's 
I don't know who, who does who first, but there is a, there's a few companies that seem to do the same line of bags all the time, just have their own name on them. So I wish Michael Kors would go and do like the Gucci inspired bag, the one I'm talking about, the square oblong, not square, oblong one. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I'm going to show you Luna because she looks dead cute. How cute is she? Are you my little office dog today? We got lots of work to do, so we're going to be up here most of the day, except lunch. So I think I'm going to talk to mum first, then have lunch, and then get cracking. Right, Luna? Get crack a lacking. Yeah, there's a lot. I've got two big boxes in there full of paperwork. I've got to go through the box, and there's some in the envelopes. Alright guys, so it is now five past one. I need to go get some lunch in a minute because I'm hungry, but I'm in the middle of doing stuff. Um, whoop. Oh, you didn't even... Whoop. Yeah, I'm in the middle of doing stuff, even though I wasn't doing very well in the beginning, I said to Pete. She thinks she's a horse. Um, I said, we're going to stop taking credit cards. I'm like, why... He goes, why? I said, because four out of five were declined and I've only just started. <laughs> Ooh. But anyway, now we're on a bit more of a roll. So he's like, keep track. Um, he said, maybe heading forward that, you know, things have to change. I know a lot of places don't take them because of this, but we don't run them. We've tried using the square and all the different things on location where people run them right away. And between the lagging and this and that, and people getting annoyed with us, more annoyed. So I'm like, forget it. I'm not going to get abused for one more thing so anyway it's doing better now so i want to finish try and finish this one pile then go down and get lunch then we'll set the start the second pile and then i think tomorrow i will spend the day entering all the information for the actual orders for the lab um because pete i think he's coming over to help ash with a car tomorrow night she's made an appointment for tuesday to go get two tires replaced i think i may have told you that already you going to sit on the chair now? I need to wrap up that handbag. Because if Ash is going to Queen's tonight, I might see if she'll drop it on her way. With tomorrow being Thursday, then Friday, you know, the weekend they don't budge. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Luna Bella. Luna Bella. Um... Oh, she turned her back to me. Well, I never. Rude. Luna, why'd you turn? Luna, look at me. Luna, look at me. Turned your back on me. Yes. Rude. Anyway, I better get going because I am hungry. I haven't had anything today. I just had two pretzels when I went downstairs. But I need food, food. Proper food. I need a sandwich. I think I'm going to make... A bacon sandwich, but I don't have any English bacon. I'm going to try and go to the English store over the weekend and get some. But I think today I've got some American bacon. I think I might make a bacon sandwich and a cup of coffee. And I might sit downstairs and eat it because I'll keep looking at this and I want to do this in between and I can't because it makes your hands very mucky because the, the ink coming off of the... These, these are our order forms. This is the back. And then the front's got the black print and it comes off on your hands. You feel filthy after. So I've just washed them because I went down and grabbed the mail. And then I washed them in between. So anyway, let me do some more and then eat. And then do some more. Mum, I hope you feel better. Poor mum's not feeling so well. So I hope you feel better. We won't be chatting tomorrow because she's got two appointments. But we will chat on Friday and we'll see how she's doing. All right, Luna. All right, while she's quiet and not pestering me to go <coughs> OUT. I'm hey, guys, go 10 past there. three. I have not had lunch yet because I've been doing this and the site crashed. So I've tried to get in a couple of times and it's given me a, a 
kind of error through. message so i will try yeah, again really tomorrow i'm not going to do any more of that at the moment it's quarter past three i did get some answers from people in regards to their order form so that was good i've got this live on now for three hours while i've been working on this and it seems that there's been more human remains found in florida reserve um apparently brian laundry's parents went this morning to identify some clothing or stuff in a back rack blah, 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 backpack which they confirmed was brian laundry's and now there's reserve uh, there's uh remains found close to that back there was remains found close to where that backpack was so obviously the place is closed down again the fbi is there police what have you i'm watching joseph morris's this all broke while he was on he only came on to talk about a bike and it ended up where this ended up breaking while he was online so he's he's actually been online now for three hours but um i i'm <laughs> obviously they can't say who it is yet because the coroner has to do all their tests and what have you they just put up all the tents and whatnot and there's a helicopter flying over but i'm hoping it's not brian i want brian to be brought to justice and um but i have a feeling it is going to be him i mean it's too coincidental really but for all those people that saw him in different areas he's still in florida they they interviewed somebody who said, oh, yeah, we're getting calls, 10 calls a minute saying we've seen him here, we've seen him there, we've seen him everywhere. But anyway, um, we'll see what happens anyway. But I think I'm going to leave it because I'm getting too involved. I'm, I'm bummed I can't carry on with my work, but now I'm going to wrap this bag up. Ashley confirmed she is going to Queens this evening. So I was going to see if I could get it wrapped up before she leaves work and maybe she'll, oh, actually, no, she doesn't get out till six. It's too late. So she'll take it for me in the morning because she parks right in the parking lot. She's at work at seven. I'm surprised she's going to Queens when she's got to be up at seven. But God forbid she doesn't see him two nights in a row. Do you remember those days, guys, when you couldn't live without them? Gosh, that looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter, but it isn't because this woman's got a skirt on. <laughs> Some of the stuff I said on here wasn't confirmed before I tweeted. Oh, Kathy Lena writes, good job. Thank you so much. Anyway, um, yeah, it is interesting. This case has been very interesting, but if this is, in fact, Brian, it doesn't bring any justice for Gabby, does it? It doesn't. The parents now don't get any more answers. It's 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 a wicked, wicked, horrible case. Anyway, um, lunch, Luna. I need lunch. Luna is still on the chair, being a very good girl. Speaking very shortly, but I probably should so take her out for a wee. She doesn't even ask. She's been golden. Say, yeah, uh, talk to you guys later. So I've tidied up some of the boxes, Avon boxes, because um, I've gotten rid of a lot of old books that are several, several campaigns ago, which I need to take downstairs. I wrapped up, wreck, <laughs> wrapped, wrapped up the box with the bag I just sold. Um, I need to go put some recyclables out and I need to take that laundry down. And uh, I don't know, that's about it really. Luna is back on the bed. I've made this bed 10 times today because she has messed it up. Oh, that orange light you can see, it's the, it's from the fake candles. It makes a little thing on the ceiling. It looks really pretty when it's really pitch black in here. <laughs> anyway. Um, so that's going to be it for today because there's really nothing else going on. Ash is going to come in and then change and then leave immediately after taking Luna out, of course. But yeah. So because I couldn't finish any more with the charges, I figured let me do something else that I've been wanting to do. <coughs> i got to go put the bit, the office phone back on charge downstairs so I can have it back up here tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get back into the site without any issues. If not, I'll just start adding everything then to the... Um, whatchamacallit, the actual packages to the lab website so we can get those going because like I said, Pete wants those to go on Monday. But I have quite a few parents I have to call back because cards didn't go through. But that's okay, it happens. Um, before I call, I always try them again anyway. So we'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, guys, I hope you've all had a brilliant, brilliant Wednesday, whatever it is you did today. 
I hope it was a good one and we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Take care guys and stay safe.